Audio Jungle. Hello everyone, it's Matthew, and thank you for getting back to me. And more footage on the uh, CCTV webcams. All across the world, we're going to look at different um, webcams and look at that darkening sky, because it's so important that we can see this situation. And a lot of these cams are in high definition, and they're all over the world, and they spend thousands, thousands of pounds putting these cams up. So now we're going to use the cams, and we're going to check and see what's going on with our skies. Here on this Amsterdam cam, you can see where it's still very dark. It's just very much uh, shadows and dimness, and uh, we're just going to keep going and uh, looking at the different darkness around the world, because it is very dark. It's getting dimmer. This is a Santa Fe cam. Now the thing is, though, it's pointing to the ground. Normally this cam rotates to the horizons. It's facing the wrong way. And I believe government are doing this, just to basically let us not see what's going on. Now the sun this morning was in a watery haze. You could see that silvery cloud in front of it, as the chems had sprayed it in the morning. But there you can see that that situation is the same, where the same light on the land and everything is like it was in the UK this morning, over there. And basically it's a dim darkness. It should be bright. The sun was covered this morning with a lot of chem trailing. I'm going to keep an eye on this cam as well, as I said before, the Land's End weather cam. It's just important, as Mr. John Moore said, I'm going to keep an eye on this because of this huge pocket of water. And also the sea line and the levels are rising, so I'm going to keep an eye on them rocks on the shore. And also on the horizon, it's very important to see that things are changing. You can see that pink haze above the uh, sun on the horizon with that simulator reflecting. And this is a high definition cam as well. So I've been watching this every single day. Also, I've got some really good images sent through by email from uh, Scott from the Nibiru channel. And I will be showing these images. I've studied the images and they are true. And these objects are basically being reported and uh, Scott has got these from his family source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you them later on in another video. Absolutely outstanding because the thing is the trash that's coming off them objects and also the redness of the uh, celestial body. It's there 100%. So I'm looking forward to doing the video shortly and I will put that up shortly later on today for you subscribers and viewers. It's so important that we get the truth out there. This is the coronal hole image. Now it's got bigger. Every day we're watching it. This is an update on the 3rd of January 2017 using the, um, the Soho cams and also the other weather cams. This is a chart and look at the size of it now. It's got bigger. It's really being affected now. It's been affected every day now. So we've got to keep an eye on this. It's so important because this sun is now facing directly towards our Earth. And we're being attacked every single day as I showed you on the other videos. I've done a small documentary about the sun and the size of the thing and also the, the heat that's coming off it and the power of these um, solar flares it's so important that you all know this because i've got a passion to show you these things and other channels are doing great jobs and i'm looking forward to showing you them images from scott so scott respect to you 100 percent i'm behind you all the way mate there's no doubt in this now this is a real event and it's coming it really is coming 100 percent this is another solar flare chart where basically they diagram everything but when the uh, corona hole is there and the, the cme solar events are coming the solar flares that are coming towards our Earth. They build these, these um, and draw these charts of the amount of the size of the uh, solar flare activity. Because the thing is, though, you can see just on the land there, can't you? And that is where the solar flare activity is coming from the sun. These solar flares are showing, you can see them with the naked eye, because when you see the sun come up in the morning, you can see that redness just above and around the sun. Every single morning and every single night, you can see the solar flares. The thing is, though, they do this chart as well, and let me tell you something, it was a lot smaller last year, but it's huge now. They're doing the charts, it's out, it's off the chart. Everything is off the chart now. This is another image that someone brought in. Now the thing is though, on the charts, you can see this, can't you? Year's Eve from Lofton, and that's the islands of Norway. Look at it. It's been um, digitally, digitally imposed, so you can see it with a special camera in a special mode. Those above them, clouds there are solar flare activity. That is all the chemicals that are coming in from the sun and all the rays. They're seeping through our atmosphere now. And they can't stop it. The chemtrails can't stop it. So that's a fantastic image to show you what's really going on. I hope you can see this image. But this is an image basically of um, the fireballs that are orbiting our Earth and orbiting the inner solar system. Even the outer regions. There are huge fireballs that are crossing our Earth all the time. They are in our orbit of the Earth. And this is what we're on about with Scott's images. These fireballs are massive. They are huge. It's only a matter of time until one lands on Earth, hits through the keyhole of our atmosphere, and that's it. That is it. 
and one did strike many, many years ago that killed the dinosaurs, infected everything. Cloud dusts for hundreds of years. The earth went into uh, an ice age. But still government and the uh, media don't want, don't want you to know this. They really don't. They just want you to carry on and just uh, go on your merry way. But it's not fair because at the end of the day, there are so many people waking up to this now. And I have got a lady subscriber that sent me uh, an email this morning saying the same thing. And respect to that lady. You can see here as well on that Buchan down in southwest in Cornwall. Between Cornwall and Devon. Look at the pinkness and the hydrogen. The thing is they are still chemtrailing our skies and the natural clouds are being uh, distorted and basically they're being burnt away. On the land it's still dark and yellow. It's just that the, uh, everything is darkening still so we just got to keep an eye on the cams. Some cams are not going to show it because the earth on the other side of the world is facing the other way. We are tilting every single day. We are rocking back and forwards. The thing is though, Earth is being affected right now. It's going to take time. But the thing is though, we're going to see these colours come stronger each time. This is back to the Parasan scam. Now, I know for a fact there's lots of um, reflections there from the camera. Okay? There's these triangly things. They're just reflections. There's, they're, they're nothing. They're just um, reflections for the... Um, the plastic on the front of the cam, the safety, the safety cover that you get on a camera. Most of them have just got solid glass. Some cameras have diamond glass that you use on Rolex watches to prevent any grit or anything scratching the screen. Some really expensive cams out there. They use them on the Earth cams. Look on the horizon though. That's excuse the cam flares. Okay. That's look on the horizon, the darkness as well, and the sun. Now the sun is a wrong shape. Now the thing is though that simulator is working 24-7 and it's dark over there you see for the time of the day and also you can see on the horizon that yellowness for Nemesis. All these hoax stories you get on the news media and propaganda TV and government and NASA never a straight answer. We know this. Okay. Now they come out with all these um, things that things are happening up in space. Lots of um, reports and stuff like oh it's this it's that. You know, they found black holes and stuff, and uh, not to worry, they're dealing with it. And, but let me tell you something, the truth is out there, and that's that nemesis on the horizon. The sun's twin, the binary twin. You can see from the sun to that binary twin reflection is a complete different source. The sun isn't causing that binary reflection. But the solar flares are coming through so much now as well. And we'll talk about that more on another video. Here is a sky weather map where you can see from a satellite, you can see the visual effects of what's happening with the jet stream. Now can you see where the, uh, the grey spots, the red and everything, that's like the heat spots. Now the thing is though, it's supposed to be a constant flow, but now look what's happening. The thing is, as the earth is rotating and being pushed back and forward as well, the jet stream's being affected by this as well. And you can see now that the weather, our weather is just flowing by past us, leaving us cold, bitter, as the chemtrails are basically there to spray the skies. Those chemtrails, as all we see, is proven on the weather charts. These clouds are just flowing past us. They're doing absolutely nothing. It's a waste of energy. And it's so sad because at the end of the day, we could be feeling a lot better in ourselves, having these natural clouds covering our country. All over the world, it's happening. We're not seeing the, the natural clouds anymore. They're just being uh, burnt away because the binary twin is affecting our sun. And you can see on the charts, it proves it. Look at it. Look at the way that these uh, natural events just go past us. They don't even cover us to keep us healthy and make us better. We are all not feeling too good now because these chemtrails are there. They're not full of um, natural ingredients like they are in the clouds. The chemtrails are full of uh, barium and uh, aluminium and stuff and it's just making us feel bad. Making us feel heavy through the day and I've, I've said this before. You just look at that jet stream go past. It's just doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's so sad to see that and I'm going to keep an eye on this chart for you every day. Here's another cam that's in the UK in North Devon. You can see there basically um, the reflections as well. Their chemtrails are up in the sky. They're too low. Now the thing is the low clouds that you can see are chemtrails, poisons. They spray the sky early hours of the morning. Now the sun's already gone up, but can you see that? If you look closely behind that um, display street light, you can see the binary twin reflection. There's no doubt in it. It's there. The binary twin reflection is there on the horizons and it's dark. It's 2.29 now p.m. in the UK and it's just absolutely dark but you can't get away with it with the situation that that reflection there, that orangey red reflection is the binary twin. That's Nemesis. 
it's come in the reflections are getting bigger now so if you look at the videos through the um the different videos you will see that these um, heavenly bodies are getting bigger the reflections are getting huge this is another cam that's based down in uh, the south of england you can see the plasma in the background and also the dimness just checking all the cams and this one here is very interesting because you can move uh, things left to right and zoom in and out it's uh, another high definition cam thing is so it would be great if we can move it left to right the cam which we can some cams are just locked into position and some cams have been put purposely downwards or turn the other way they do this so you can't see the skies so we're just going to continue watching now this is the Plymouth cam in the UK and that's south of um, Cornwall you can see there the skies now come on look at this you've got the simulator that's up there covering the sun the darkness on the ground and also you've got the haze of nemesis just on the horizon the time of the day should be clear and bright even if it's cloudy and cold it should still be lighter than this the sun is there it's trying to the government are trying to say there's our sun it's bright but it's not it's a big giveaway it's dark so we've just got to keep an eye on the cams because the darkness is here in the uk as well this is a live dawlish uk cam you can see to the left hand side they've been chemtrailing all morning and to the right you can see down below you can see where the sun and the simulator is up there and also the dark and dimness look at the yellowness on the ground and look at them natural clouds are being put to one side this is happening all over the place the natural clouds are being burnt because the hydrogen has been burnt off them and also you can just see them misty chemtrails now like i said before we are all walking around enjoying our day and eating our dinners and just having a normal day and government are spraying our skies every day to hide this situation the world's biggest event is on its way there's no doubt in it now it's not going to just go away they can't just push huge celestial bodies out of their orbits no way the powers to be can't do nothing they can't do anything we can't do nothing all we got to do is prep and prepare and save lives by telling people these things people still look up and look at them chemtrails and think ah it's just clouds well someone's enjoying their holiday they've just soon passed us in the sky there's no holiday makers on them planes there's no business trips on them planes they're just full of tankers with evil gases and poisons blood specimen is just chemicals it's terrible and they're spraying the skies with the aluminium as well to try and stop those solar flares from attacking us and heading into the ground and also they are pulling the wall with these chemtrails as well to stop us from seeing the binary system the binary system is going to come big and i believe that we're going to see more of this we're going to see more of this as we head towards the sun again in the summer part we are going through the crossing right now and the reflections prove it now if these reflections are being red and the orange reflections on the horizons let me tell you something if they're that big they're here they're here and let me tell you something as well once that magnetic pull comes through from Nibiru when it pulls on our earth that's it we're in deep trouble we really are we really really are and I just want to say thank you to everybody every single person because if the power grid goes down next week or tomorrow then I just want to say respect to you all because I'm just going to keep doing this channel until I get the truth out there and if I get cut off and we get cut off with the electricity and the power grid then respect to you all because you're all fantastic people and thank you for following my channel and thank you for following my great friends as well on other channels they're all respectable people Chris Actor fantastic guy really is a fantastic guy that stood by me through the channel and he's speaking to a kind friend the cryptic star he is a great man the cryptic star and also Scott I just want to say thank you mate for um, that interview that we did and I hope we do another interview you're a star you really are you're a perfect man and you do some really good work and you're really showing the truth it's so important and I know you're doing it from the heart and there's many other channels that are out there doing fantastic jobs there really is anyway I'm gonna to go to the next cam now here is another cam that's on the southwest coast and you can see there the darkness the reflections on that Jeep you can see down there and also on the horizons you can see the lower cloud in these clouds sit wrong as well these chemtrails where they spray the skies are not sitting straight they're on an angle all the time you can see the reflections there as well the hydrogen being burnt off them it's happening all over the world nationwide and government this is one of the biggest secrets that you're pulling and people need to know this it's a criminal offense what you're doing this is against all regulations of law we're breathing this stuff in and they're huge and it's lowering the skies you can see them cams also in the middle of the screen on the sea you can see a reflection from nemesis here on this cam you can move it around so let's take a look at the sky I hope it's going to be beautiful blue skies let's take a look 
Hmm. Looks quite strange. Very dark. Oh, look. We've got chemtrails. We've got the skies that have been sprayed and the pinkness of the reflections of hydrogen being burnt off the natural clouds. Like I said before, these chemtrails, that's a bit of plastic in front of the screen to protect the CCTV camera. But look at the skies. They're a haze. And there on the right hand side, just that corner piece there, you've got the reflection for Nemesis. Just here. That's a reflection for Nemesis. It's in the same part of the sky all over the world. And it's so important that we get the truth and the message out there. These skies are being sprayed every single day now to hide the binary system in Nibiru. They are not our natural clouds and the land is dark. This is a live cam in the Merseyside in the UK near Liverpool. Very nice place and I've got a respectable man that sends me emails called Ian Gordon that lives close to these areas. Fantastic guy. You can see on the horizon there, you can see a reflection. And you can see the redness and the pinkness of the skies as well and the darkness. It's too dark. Over there in the UK, it's 2.44pm. Uh, too dark, far too dark. But also you can see that heavenly body on the screen. Now that shouldn't be there because the sun should still be up. And you've got that object there. It's a dead giveaway that we've got other heavenly bodies that are up there. It's so important to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this footage. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to put it in high definition. I'm going to put it in different modes to see what we've got there. But I think we've got a very big problem out there behind them chems. So uh, respect to Ian Gordon as well. Fantastic man. And also many other people that are watching the channels, respect to you all. This chat, this um, footage, this image speaks a thousand volumes. Just look at it. It's um, it's there in the skies. There's no doubt in it now. This is the last cam I'm going to do, and I'm going to do another video shortly for uh, showing you that footage from what Scott's showing on the uh, the screen. It's very important. But on this um, on this cam, you can see the purple purpleness and the pinkness in the sky from a huge celestial body that's showing itself. Now that was a giveaway on the last cam as well, because they slip up and let it show itself. It's really important that people know it's there. It really is. Anyway, it's going to go and leave you with this cam now, and I'll be back on the cams later on today. I'm sorry the video is short. It's just I've got to do some things around the, with the family and stuff as well, and I'll sort out that other video. It's very important. So eyes to the skies. And respect to you all from Matt Rogers. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Hello, everyone. It's Matthew, and thank you for getting back to me. And more footage on the uh, CCTV webcams all across the world. We're going to look at different um, webcams and look at that darkening sky because it's so important that we can see this situation and a lot of these cams are in high definition and they're all over the world and they spend thousands thousands of pounds putting these cams up so now we're going to use the cams and we're going to check and see what's going on with our skies here on this Amsterdam cam you can see where it's still very dark it's just very much uh, shadows and dimness and uh, we're just going to keep going and uh, looking at the different darkness around the world because it is very dark it's getting dimmer this is a Santa Fe cam. Now the thing is though, it's pointing to the ground. Normally this cam rotates to the horizons. It's facing the wrong way. And I believe government are doing this, just to basically let us not see what's going on. Now the sun this morning was in a watery haze. You could see that silvery cloud in front of it, as the chems had sprayed it in the morning. But there you can see that that situation is the same, where the same light on the land and everything is like it was in the UK this morning, over there. And basically it's a dim darkness should be bright. The sun was covered this morning with a lot of chem trailing. I'm going to keep an eye on this cam as well, as I said before, the Land's End weather cam. It's just important, as Mr. John Moore said, I'm going to keep an eye on this because of this huge pocket of water and also the sea line on the levels are rising. So I'm going to keep an eye on them rocks on the shore and also on the horizon. It's very important to see that things are changing. You can see that pink haze above the uh, sun on the horizon with that simulator is reflecting. And this is a high definition cam as well. So I'll be watching this every single day. Also, I've got some really good images sent through by email from uh, Scott from the Nibiru channel. And I will be showing these images. I've studied the images and they are true. And these objects are basically being reported and uh, Scott has got these from his family source. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you them later on in another video. Absolutely outstanding. Because the thing is the trash that's coming off them objects and also the redness of the uh, celestial body it's there 100 percent 
So I'm looking forward to doing the video shortly and I will put that up shortly later on today for you subscribers and viewers. It's so important that we get the truth out there. This is the coronal hole image. Now it's got bigger. Every day we're watching it. This is an update on the 3rd of January 2017 using the, um, the Soho cams and also the other weather cams. This is a chart 